Hi, today's video is going to be about population genetics and I am going to talk about uh, genetic drift and allele frequency, how genetic drift influence allelic frequency. And I will use uh, very simple examples today with three communities. So imagine that this is community uh, one, here is a community two, and here is a community three. So uh, all these communities are separated uh, by, say, water. And you may imagine that this is three islands. And uh, on uh, community one consists of uh, only one uh, person. So this is male with uh, genotype that is capital A, capital A. So homozygous dominant. In the community two, we have also male with um, genotype that is small a, small a, or homozygous recessive. And uh, in the community uh, three, we have a female with genotype that is uh, capital A and small a. And uh, now imagine that uh, this community number three has uh, allelic uh, frequency that is uh, or ratio that is one to one. So one uh, dominant allele and uh, one uh, recessive allele or 50 to 50 percent. And now imagine that we have genetic drift in the form of uh, migration of this male here to this island. So we have now uh, this uh, particular female and this male whose uh, genetic uh, genotype would be capital A, capital A. So if this couple mates uh, in the following generation we would have uh, one, two, three uh, dominant alleles that is A, so we would have uh, three, two, uh, one small allele here, recessive allele, so it would be three to one ratio, or 75 to uh, 25 percent. So this is going to be dominant allele and this is uh, recessive allele. And here is uh, another scenario. If this male would migrate here, uh, whose genotype is uh, homozygous recessive and would mate with this uh, female here. So in this case, uh, the genotype of the following uh, generations would be, so here our male from the community number two, that is whose genotype is small a, small a, and in this scenario we would have three recessive alleles and one dominant allele. So ratio would be uh, once again three to one, but this time uh, three would be recessive allele and one would be dominant allele. So uh, as you see this is how uh, genetic drift might influence um, balance between alleles. So uh, from uh, one to one ratio we can go to three to one ratio where dominant allele would be represented by 75 percent and in this scenario we would have uh, a recessive allele that would be represented by uh, 75 percent and dominant allele would be represented by uh, 25 percent. So uh, imagine that this is of course uh, oversimplified picture 
but uh, this community can consist of uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of uh, people and uh, this community also and uh, any genetic drift because uh, different communities would have different uh, allele frequency would influence this uh, community and the smaller community the uh, greater would be influence so uh, the bigger community and a small genetic uh, drift would have less effect on such a community and the smaller community the greater effect has genetic drift that's why on the uh, islands you can see sometimes um, uh, completely different uh, allele frequency from the uh, communities that uh, there was initial uh, migration due to random factor that uh, some representative may that migrate here might have uh, allelic frequency different from uh, what is a normal uh, proportion in uh, the communities just due to random factor and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye